on the virtual machine for this course in a browser, navigate to cloud.osisoft.com. Click on the sign in button at the top right corner and enter OSI Pyro Labs as the account ID. Check the Remember Account box and click on Continue. On the login page, please enter the email account and password, then click on the sign in button. OCS is configured to use both Microsoft Account and Google as supported identity providers. Once logged in to the OSIsoft PyWorld Labs account, click on the dotted square icon at the top left of the screen to bring up the navigation menu in the OCS portal. We will begin with a brief tour of the OCS portal, specifically the data management section, in order to familiarize ourselves with the features and functionalities available to subscribers. Data streamed to OCS from an on-premise SPI system is housed in a namespace which has a connection to the PI system, and the individual tags are stored as data streams in the Sequential Data Store, or SDS, under that namespace. Let's explore namespaces further. The namespace we will be using for this course is Enabling Enterprise-Wide Data Science, which is available from the list. The namespace screen is where a user can add, edit, remove and manage permissions for a namespace. To view namespace details, select an existing namespace and click on Display Details. The type count and stream count refer to the number of SDS types and SDS streams, respectively, that have been created for the selected namespace. You can establish high throughput data connections from a PI system or any OMF compatible data source into OCS with the connections feature. The specific connection that streams the WinFarm data from the on-premise PI system to OCS is WinTurbine data, which is already created in the Enabling Enterprise-Wide Data Science namespace. This connection was done via the PI to OCS agent, which has already been configured. PI to OCS has two major components. One, an on-premises component called the PI to OCS agent, which is installed locally on the source computer and used as a bridge between the PI server and the OCS destination. It runs as a service and performs fast and secure data transfer. Two, a cloud component called a PI system connection or PI system connection data source residing within OCS that receives the data from the on-premise PI to OCS agent and then stores it in the SDS. The deployment of a PI to OCS agent establishes a one-to-one -one connection from a PI server to an OCS PI system connection. The PI to OCS agent must be installed by a user who has administrative privileges on the local computer as well as the OCS account. The main current limitations of PI to OCS is that it can only handle historical and real type tags, meaning no future PI tags. It does not transfer any data from PI AF. It does not transfer snapshot data, only archive data. It will not transfer data which has been backfilled after the transfer has been started. It does not write events back to the PI data archive from OCS, and once a PI to OCS agent is registered to a PI data archive, no other PI to OCS agent can connect to that same PI data archive for a given namespace. 
For information regarding setting up a Pi to OCS agent in order to stream data to OCS, please refer to Appendix A of the course workbook. The Sequential Data Store, or SDS, is a cloud-based streaming data storage that is optimized for storing sequential data, usually time series, but can be anything that is indexed by an ordered sequence. SDS stores these streams with a specific type. There are three elements of SDS, which are SDS types, SDS streams, and SDS stream views. SDS types and SDS streams will be presented in more detail, but SDS stream views will not be discussed in this course. However, there are videos on our YouTube learning channel which explain the definition and configuration. Let us discuss SDS types and SDS streams further. An SDS type defines the shape of a single measured event and gives structure to data. SDS types can define simple atomic types such as integers, floats, strings, arrays, and dictionaries, or they can define complex types which can be collections of simple types. In this course, we will create a complex SDS type to store our forecasted data back in OCS later. The pre-configured PyTOCS agent creates and uses seven SDS types, which are PyTimestamp, PyString, PyInt32, PyInt16, PyFloat64, PyFloat32, and PyDigital. You cannot edit an existing type. In order to have a type with different properties than originally assigned, you must create a new type. SDS streams are collections of sequentially occurring values indexed by a single property, typically time series data, but can be any other ordered sequence. You define streams to organize incoming data from another system into OCS. SDS stream identifiers must be unique within a namespace and must include a type ID that references an existing SDS type. Because only the stream ID for SDS streams need to be unique, there can be more than one SDS stream with the same stream name in a namespace in OCS. We would like to now confirm and verify that all relevant data for the wind farm have been sent from the Pi system and are present in the SDS, as well as perform some preliminary data exploration and analysis. On this page, we can search for all the active power streams. On the search field on the streams tab, enter star p dot a c t star, which would result in only the active power data streams for all the wind from turbines being displayed. If one of the data streams is selected, such as ge01 underscore p dot a c t underscore p v, a data tab appears under the streams tab. Under this data tab, set the query type to get range values. The get range values query type is similar to viewing data via Pi system management tools under data archive editor. If the get first value or get last value query types are selected instead, this would display a single data point at either the beginning or the end of the data time frame, respectively. Enter a start index of 03-15-2020 and click on the magnifying glass icon. The results for the active power stream for wind turbine GE01 will be shown in tabular form with the 100 event count modifiable via the count field with a trend shown on the details tab on the right. We can delve deeper into the visualization and trending of the wind farm data in the visualization section of OCS. On the trend page under navigation, 
data streams in OCS can be trended, analyzed, and overlaid for various time ranges of interest. In this section, the active power for the wind turbines for the last week will be analyzed. In the search query bar, enter star p.act star and click on the magnifying glass icon. This will return the active power for all the 10 turbines. Add the p.act underscore pv values for the first three turbines, G01, G02, and G03 to the trend by clicking the plus button to the right of the corresponding data stream. In the time range field, select previous week from quick ranges. Each active power data stream is trended as a separate graph, but we can combine the three data streams into a single graph by clicking on the layers icon at the top left corner. Clicking on it once converts the trends into a single graph with a single Y scale as such. Clicking on the layers icon again converts the trend into a single graph but with multiple Y scales now. Clicking on a specific data stream in the table below the trend highlights the trend and a trend can be added or removed by checking or unchecking the box to the left of the stream name. The last value, minimum, maximum and average values are shown for each trace in the table, making it easy to analyze data over the entire time range in the trend. When you select or highlight a trace, its minimum and maximum are automatically marked as well as the average for the time range. When multiple cursors are added to the trend, the duration, delta or difference, average, minimum and maximums between consecutive cursors are calculated and displayed in order to analyze periods in between the cursors. In the next section, we will add relevant metadata to our big buffalo wind farm data streams in OCS.